I'm easily distracted. I am unable to motivate myself to complete unpleasant but necessary tasks. I procrastinate on matters relevant to work. I tend to lose important things documents. I wish I didn't lose personal things documents because they are personal. When I use a bag to keep track of these important things documents, I instead lose the bag with the important things documents instead of the personal. FAQ you. Ask your way around. What is the time? What time is it? Who is the time? When is the time? Why is the time? Where is the time? When does the time? What does the time time? What does the clock? What is the clock? Who is the clock? Why is the clock? When is the clock? When is the clock? The clock. When is the clock not? The clock is always the clock, whether it likes it or not. I break promises like I break wine glasses. I feel uneasy in situations where I'm expected to display physical affection or carry heavy things only with my two hands. If someone was depending on you to lay down in order to cross a dangerous stream, would you oblige? It would depend on the depth of the water as well as the weight of the person depending on me. During tough times, I'm more prone to unhealthy behaviors, abusing drugs, alcohol, eating unhealthy foods, getting less sleep, masturbating excessively, staring into voids, both virtual and existing. I sometimes feel a sense of vertigo, although I'm at one with the ground. Pandora's cat. Navy blue water repellent, brief document, bags, shallow acrylic makeup box in two compartments. Tin box with lid, tin box without lid. Losing contact gradually with people of a certain importance at a certain given time. Losing overview of the sizes of boxes in storage in foreign countries. Imaginary content, cardboard oblivion, love handles. Steel chamber, large, small of a recycled canvas tote bag with bamboo handles, hidden glove compartment, decaying atom. We called, but you were out. Thursday, 13th of May, 3.25 p.m., shipment has arrived at pickup location. Friday, 14th of May, 12.51 p.m., shipment unable to leave pickup location due to unforeseen incidents. Hello, guys. Does anyone have space in their luggage for a small box going to New York next weekend? I'll do anything for you in return. Cook, fuck, translate, walk your dog, pick up its shit. Anything which you could fit into the size of a 20 times 30 times 35 centimeter, including padding. Dimensional oblivion. Waste, paper basket, banana basket, jam, jar. Optimizing space. Minimizing clutter. Wood crate. Coffin, coffee tin, muffin top. Teen psychiatrist told me that whenever my problems were inclined to reoccur, I should imagine that the problem in itself was placed deep down in a box on top of a shelf in a room that I no longer lived in. If I wanted to puke, I should puke in that box and then quickly forget about it. Unreliable oblivion, an ode on a Grecian urn, Tupperware, thermocup, 
deluxe, easy fold mailers. Cotton, linen, polyester, soft box. Sensory deprivation, dehydration, leaked information. The reason she's walking around in those silly small satin shoes is because she lost all her belongings kept in storage which was damaged during the violent storms last autumn. Nothing left but key to nowhere. Monday, 17th of May, 9.40pm. Shipment has departed from pickup location. Monday, 17th of May, 9.43pm. Sh shipment dam damaged during departure from pickup location. Monday, 17th of May, 10.23pm. Shipment repaired from damage inflicted on shipment during departure from pickup location. Monday, 17th of May, 10.59pm. Shipment once again departing from pickup location. Foldable tartan green backpack. Everyday, recyclable, casual cotton tote. Restricted environmental stimulation therapy. Water repellent hard shell travel suitcase. Support group. I stayed on all my friends' couches the first five months in this city until I found a place of my own. Transporting my boxes in the subway, they fell apart halfway from all the moving, and all that was left within fell down in the gap between me and the platform. Whenever I hear the words, mind the gap, I can only think of what I w once had and not what I have now. Minimizing lost time, finding a way, bundling a know-how. We called, but you were out of your mind. Tuesday, 80th of May, 6.25 p.m. Shipment's content is being inspected due to suspicion. Thursday, 18th of May, shipment's content is being inspected and is no longer un under suspicion, but instead damaged on both sides. Tuesday, 18th of May, 7.05 p.m. Further information on shipment's content's original state is needed in order to dispatch shipment. Lunchbox, nylon tissue case, padded neoprene, cushion case, Woven leather, pencil case, mental case, banana box, nut case, sociopath, schizo. Service is our international language. Door to door, de definite delivery. Day to day, indefinite sanity. Shady forecast, sunny spells, silent cells, heavy metal. As time passes, the phone calls become less frequent, the mails less interesting. Words weightless in your mouth and mind. You wish you knew what was actually in all of those boxes before paying the overseas shipment. Hello, y'all. If anyone can take that box from Berlin to New York before next week and I will do anything for you, that's including anything in your wildest imagination. Stackable aluminium, dust box, silver, enamel, card holder, damaged, abroad, or not received at all, place and in an international inquiry. We called, but you were out. With a dog. The cat within the seal box remains both dead and alive at the same time, turning on the series of earlier events. A man of average height is unable to stand upright and is left like this for as long as 24 hours, losing concepts of time and location. A4 document folder. Heat proof glass round canister. Plastic bag. Whatever you say can be used against you. Cutlery case, polypropylene, Pandora, Paradox, Prozac, soup can, nerve ache, headaches, Wednesday, 19th of May, 9.15 a.m. Shipment restored to its original state as shown in original image. Wednesday, 19th of May, 17.38 p.m. Shipment is dry and fully restored. Wednesday, 19th of May, 17.45 p.m., shipment dispatched from temporary location. Thursday, 20th of May, 11.20 a.m., shipment is delivered. If the cat survives, it remembers only being alive. I do not enjoy sports, although I know it is good for me. I do not enjoy juice of any color, although I didn't know it's good for me. I do not enjoy fresh air, although I know it is good for me. I tell myself every day that life is precious. 
in order to believe in it. I'm a private person. I'm a public mind. I read labels excessively, even if it's only a package of salt. Here's it. When does an individual become a body? When does the body disembody? When this a body does somebody? When does it really, really hurt? Pain is individual, a cut made in the middle. Male thoughts, air mail. Three days later upon arrival, a package, nothing but. Here, he said, here is my ear. It is. And her. What does it say about her? What did she say herself? She said nothing. When does an ear stop learning? When does the body stop leaning? When does life leave life? When does love live life? When does it feel like time left? Or the exact opposite. Pain is a stain on any complexion. Does somebody care about that body, or is that body just somebody? What does a body do somebody's? When is a body just a burden? What do birds care? What is that burden for a bird? What do others think? What do others' thoughts think? What body cares about its own? Or those? Them? Never. Here. He said to her, female thoughts. Her ears were present, but they did not listen. I enjoy exploring new places. I pride myself on being different. I have a broad range of interests and hobbies. I go out of my way to better myself. I have my cake and eat for two, and as a result, I feel twice as awful. It's my way or the highway. If the highway is gone, there's no way I'm going to take the bus. I do not like public transport. If people call me selfish, I just remind them of their own flaws. Example one, the bank. On your way home from work, you stop at the bank to deposit a check. As you're standing in the line, patiently waiting for your turn, you notice a little kid with a chocolate bar running around screaming. His mum seems to have no problem with it. She's actually beaming with pride. Next thing you know, the kid decides to run over to you and give you a big hug, smearing little chocolate handprints all over your trousers. How do you respond? You politely ask the mother to remove her child from your pant leg and leave with a full smile, continuing your day regretting not having to gone to another bank. The next day you change your bank and move all your savings, earnings and assets into the new account. To welcome you and your choice, the bank gives you the option of choosing between a subscription to Psychology Today and a high-speed blender. Unable to make a choice, you panic and withdraw all your savings, earnings and assets in notes and coins and hide them in your mattress. As a result, you sleep better at night. But the next day, the money is gone. 
Two weeks later, Psychology Today arrives on your doorstep. Sometimes, decisions are better made by others than yourself. I present myself in ways that are very different from who I really am. When I get angry, I have absolutely no self-control and end up leaving the office in ruins. When this happens, I usually A. Lose my job or B. Take a holiday. After an argument, I'm left with bitter feelings. After feeling, I'm left with a bitter taste. Therapists, the rapists, the rap artists, the artist as rap artist. I take pride in my work. I work persistently and all, all my tasks are complete. I ignore time as if it was an alien to my own body. I feel like I can never take a break because when I do, my body breaks too. I have lost my bag again, both the personal and the items. I just cannot seem to get organized. The internet is 45% instructions, 45% distractions, 10% cat videos. The internet is 45% distractions, 45% erections, 10% cat videos. The internet is 45% appropriation, 45% repetition, 10% cat videos. The internet is 45% PayPal, 45% PenPal, 10% cat videos. The internet is 45% life, 45% second life, 10% cat videos. The internet is 45% male. 45% email, 10% cat videos. I have problems with my short-term memory. I have problems remembering faces. I have problems recognizing patterns. I find it difficult to prioritize my tasks. I have a calendar on my desk, but when I check it, it either looks as if it belongs to someone else or is already out of date by several years. I just cannot seem to get organized.
example two, the garden. You've planted a garden in your backyard and you're looking forward to reaping the fruit of your efforts. One day you catch a neighbor's cat in action. With what looks like a delighted expression on his face, he squats and waters your plants. Your garden is ruined. Who would want to eat contaminated produce? As a result, you cut off the cat's tail and make a new handle for your bag, so they might stop losing it all the time, both the personal and its items. The neighbor comes to ask you where its tail is gone, but you say you know nothing about it. Within the next days, the cat dies and your neighbor asks if she can bury its dead body in your backyard, seeing she does not have a garden herself. You realize this is why it came to your side of the wall all the time. You think about it for a little while, feeling guilty about its death. In the end, you politely say, no. I often feel tired, sluggish, or lethargic. I usually have a bad breath. I have an unpleasant body odor which follows me during the day. I tend to lose track of my shadow. I tend to have dark circles under my eyes. When looking in the mirror, I tend to either A, feel extremely discontent, or B, have to look twice in order to distinguish my face from its surroundings. I just cannot seem to get organized. Girl next door, flagship store, Kevin Klein, dollar sign, single sided, simple face, dark man, white background, hotmum.com, mislaid, sex tape, flesh in the flash, nudes and news, F word, off screen, and all fours, all for one. Lights out. I am unable to distinguish my internal thoughts from reality. I make full length feature films for my dreams and try to sell them to Hollywood, Bollywood or anyone interested. If that doesn't work, I might try to write a book instead. My speech or thoughts are incoherent or overly rapid, without apparent cause. I hear, see, or feel things that others tell me are not real. I lose control of my body movements and or find myself sitting or standing in strange, awkward positions. I can't rip crap of my belongings, often losing items, both personal and important. I've lost my bag again, both its shape and its content, both the personal and the important. When I share my thoughts with others, they seem to think that I was not making sense or that I've lost my grip on reality. Other people complain that I do not appear to be listening to them, but I do. Thanks. <laughs>